myself, Dr. Aditya Gupta. I'm sure you must have heard this introduction multiple times as I give this introduction in my YouTube videos. And in case you haven't, well, your loss. So uh, I, I find it a bit ironic, to be honest, uh, to, be speak, uh, to be speaking about uh, beyond medicine and about my, uh, since my entire YouTube journey is about medicine and I'm speaking about my career, my journey in medicine for the past 10 years. So I would like to take, in, in the beginning itself, I'd like to take a, a slight detour, a slight uh, personal detour to say the least, uh, about medicine and what we can learn from medicine and what we can apply from medicine to beyond medicine and anything in general. So as you might know that, although my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta, I am Aditya Gupta, uh, most of my social media handle name is Dr. Aditya Sanjay Gupta. It's nothing but a tribute to my father, uh, Group Captain Sanjay Gupta. He is the reason who I am today and I don't want to be known without him being known too. He was, uh, uh, he was a fighter pilot in the Indian Air Force and uh, as many of, you, many of you might not know, he was from here itself. He was from Jammu itself. He was from Panchtiti in Jammu itself. And uh, he was unfortunately diagnosed with B acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, a type of blood cancer, in December 2019. And he passed away because of it in April 2021. Now, B acute lymphoblastic leukemia, since most of us uh, here are medical students, you would, would know that it's the most common malignancy as far as children are concerned. It's the most common uh, malig uh, malignancy as far as children are concerned. And it's very, very curable. It's curable with chemotherapy and has 80 to 90 percent success, success rate as far as chemotherapy is concerned. But as far as adults are concerned, the prognosis is very, very poor. As you can see, this is the survival of uh, ALL as far as adults are concerned. And you can see it's less than 15, 15, less than 20 percent. We do the same things that we do in children. We give them chemotherapy. Uh, we hope for a survival. Most of them do end up going into revision, but most of them either relapse and many of them are refractory. They do not respond to chemotherapy in the first place. And when that happens, we give them newer drugs, drugs like lunatumumab, drugs like enotuzumab. These are newer, newer monoclonal antibodies that we're now using in ALL. Now, the reason I emphasize on this story, the reason I started with this story is that be it medicine or be it beyond medicine, success will only come when you start thinking outside the box. The normal traje tra trajectory, the normal convention always has been give chemotherapy, if chemotherapy fails, then we'll give monoclonal antibodies and then try to salvage that patient with the help of transplant, with the help of bone marrow transplant. But scientists and researchers thought that let's flip it around. Let's think outside the blocks. Why cannot we give these monoclonal antibodies upfront? And lo and behold, these are recently published results in ALL when they gave these antibodies upfront to adults, not children, to adults who already had poor prognosis. They gave them upfront and the prognosis improved to almost 100% survival. Now, I know it's too early to celebrate. These are just two, three studies, and I don't know whether this will stand the test of the time, but I do know that success will happen only when we think outside the box. Uh, this is a very common puzzle which is given to management graduates, that you have to connect all these nine dots with the help of just four lines. Try it. I would like you to try it. Can you connect all these four dots with the help of just four lines? What will happen that most of you will try to connect it this way and you won't be able to because you're thinking inside that box. But success and be, to be able to connect these four lines in the first place will happen when you think outside the box, when you start from outside the box. Similarly, I would ask each one of you, any, everyone who's here, who's a medical student here or a graduate or a postgraduate for that matter of fact, to think beyond the box, to think outside this box, to think outside this box this box of 19 subjects. Hopefully by now I have given you, I have given you enough inspiration, I have given you enough uh, inspiration to think outside the box, to think, pursue something outside the box, which can be as small as a hobby and it can be as big as a career changing decision. And now I would like to get into the beyond medicine aspect of this, uh, uh, of this TED talk, of this TEDx talk and talk about the things that I've actually learned from my past one year as a YouTuber, as, you, uh, as people might know it, and what I've actually learned from my past 10 to 12 year journey in this medical field, and what I've actually learned is that the need journey and the YouTube journey and pretty much any journey that you might actually undertake is very, very similar. So now, in a typical YouTuber style, I will talk about the top five things that you can actually learn, that you can actually learn from your need journey and you can actually apply to anything in life and be successful because that's what we want in the end, right? The first thing that you can actually learn from your knee journey, and since every one of you has cleared this taunting exam, is that you would know that consistency is the key. 
what your intensity doesn't matter intensity matters only in the short term in the long run you're as good as your consistency it's a small consistent efforts that are put daily that will result in change think about your 11th and 12th standard you would know that person who studied two or three hours daily from the beginning of the 11th uh, 11th standard would have performed exceptionally well in their AIPMT in their NEET or whatever competitive exam they gave or would it be someone who just performed for 12 hours in the last 10 days before the exam, right? So it's the consistency which matters. So whatever you might want to pursue, the reason I became what, uh, you know, as, uh, as far as YouTube is concerned is also because I applied the same consist uh, concept of consistency in my YouTube journey as well. I made sure that I published videos, even if they were not good, even if they were bad, I made sure that I published them almost on a, either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So whatever you might want to pursue, Make sure you do it daily, make sure you do it daily consistently and put in that small amount of efforts on a daily basis. The second thing that you can actually learn from your need journey, since most of you are medical students here, is that perfect is the enemy of the good. How many times would that have happened? Okay, the time is right now is 128. I'll start practicing my question exactly at 130 and I'll study exactly for three hours, then I'll take a break exactly for 30 minutes. And what happens is that when you, the clock, uh, clock strikes 131, and you'll be like, okay, I'll start at Right, so perfect is the enemy of the good. What perfect, uh, while trying to be perfect, what we actually do is procrastinate. If I would have uh, started and thought about, Ki I need a perfect gear, I need the best camera, I need the best iPhone, I need the best audio gadget in order to start my YouTube videos, I would not have made a single YouTube videos. The same way, which, whichever competitive exam you might want to give, if you want to start preparing for it, you cannot be like, I need to know the entire concept, I need to know the entire medicine before I start practicing MCQs. You just need to start. Perfectionism leads to procrastination and in the end, it only leads to paralysis. So whatever hobby that you might have that you want to pursue, whatever thing that you feel that you are passionate about, if perfectionism is stopping you, then don't let it stop you. Just start, just do it. The third thing that you can actually learn is you should teach. Uh, we teach our juniors, we teach our brothers, we teach our siblings and the word doctor itself means that we is someone who is a teacher, who is a scholar. So it's our responsibility to teach and by teaching our juniors, by teaching our colleagues, we also realize what mistakes we are making. You must have realized that if you think that you are really good at some concept and when you teach you realize that okay this is something which I don't know and that helps you improve yourself. This is something which you would have done in 11th and 12th standard. This is something which I continue to do now also. I, anyone who asks me Ki, how do you how to YouTube if some, someone asks me, I would love and I do appreciate teaching because teaching makes us better at whatever we are doing. The fourth thing that you can learn from your need journey and can ap apply anywhere in life is using history. The first and the foremost example, obviously, is which I keep on talking about, is using previous year question. Now, most of us would have solved our previous year question as well when we were giving our NEET exams, be it UG, PG, or SS. But what we can learn from the, the uh, previous year question and from the history aspect is you can learn from the mistakes of the giants. Whatever aspect, whatever thing that you are uh, planning to do, which can be hobby or whatever it is, you can learn from their mistakes and not repeat those. Last but definitely not the least, take breaks. It's important as far as studying also is concerned. Nobody can study for 10 hours continuously. It's practically impossible. It's not humanly possible. I always advocate Pomodoro that you study in 25 minutes and you take a break for 5 minutes and you again study for 25 minutes. It keeps you alive. But in the, on a broader scale, as Dr. Ravinder also talked today, that taking break is important. It's important for your mental health. Nothing should compromise your mental health. Remember all this success and all this TED talk and everything that we're talking about, it's all fake. Towards the end, the only thing that matters is your friends, your family. I would trade everything that I have right now for spending a single moment with my father. So take care of your mental health, take care of your friends, take care of your family. Towards the end of this talk, all I'll say to you is that go beyond medicine, go beyond MBBS, think outside the box. Doctors are entrepreneurs, doctors are lawyers, doctors are actors, doctors are musicians. Doc two doctors, in fact, are Miss World also. Don't limit yourself, don't cage yourself. As a pediatric oncologist, I'll say we truly are pluripotent. That's it from my side today. Thank you and have a nice day.